and I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! Starts now. On my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come. All right, start around one Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. Here we go. Whoa! He knocks out Jose Aldo! has always wanted to be a multiple division world champion. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions. If anyone can do it, it's me. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. Most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenge. It's Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You got to think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This guy is a devastating Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical. And if you don't know how to keep up with him, he will set you up with one technique while you're defending another. So here he is, really, for my money, has accomplished a submission specialist and Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner as has crossed into the UFC in years. We'll see how quickly tonight he can get this fight to the ground and utilize his high-level submission skills. Outstanding choke game. A lot of different chokes in his repertoire. We'll see if he can get him going tonight. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical, and he chains them one after the other. You defend one, he attacks with another. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with the same height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting St. Petersburg, Russia, the cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting at a give me a Poland Golden. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the Ready, heavyweight fight. division. Ready. Well, it's always been a huge market for the MMA leader, and we are always glad to come back. They have rolled out the welcome mat tonight as we get underway from the O2 Arena here in London, England. 
Looking to avoid that left hand. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, head kick. Nice. That one hurt. Neither guy really finding their range with much consistency here early. Slips the left hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, lands that punch. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is back. Defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Tags him. really finding a home for those body kicks. Yeah, you're all over it, Joe. Those kicks to the body really starting to do some appreciable damage. Full mount. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. In the side control. Look at that. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Full guard now. The ground strike starting to pile up. Oh! He lands the head kick. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Kick to the body is there. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Good straight right. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Big round. He has no defense for it. Look. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, round two. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seemed to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. Nice punch. Well, and his release on the body kick is very similar to his release on the leg kick and the high kick, so oftentimes the opponent doesn't know what's coming. We show you the numbers here. Amazing just how many body kicks he has thrown to this point of this fight. Absolutely. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. And he connects there. And there he swung with a haymaker. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, nice leg kick there. Very nicely done. 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Tags him with the left. Caught him with a punch. Good defense there. We hit him with the hook. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Yeah, oh, these are what you say about my mother punches. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, there's a nice knee. Tagged him. some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Very nice timing with these shots here. Clips him with that uppercut. Now closes the distance. Engages the Muay Thai clinch. And that's the end of well, round well, number well. two. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Both fighters up off the stools and ready to go here in this next round. Coming off a good round, a round in which both fighters had their moments. Good back and forth action. And this should be a great round here as we try to decide this thing. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice uppercut. Great exchanges. Connects now with the one-two. Left hook to the head. He just whips that punch in. Oh, misses with the jab. He got tagged there. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Nice. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Oh! 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 The left hook gets home. from the box. He's stuck in half guard here, but he's landing some nasty combinations. Big punch from the bottom. 
He's got his back. 45 seconds remain in the round. And he connects there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Big shot from the bottom. He's got a submission. Just what a fight. That's all you can say. What a fight. Well, certainly one of the better fights here tonight, and it lives to hear that final horn. Close fight, both fighters had their moments, and they were standing on a napkin at times in the center of that octagon. Both landing significant strikes, one after the next. Let's see who the judges saw as the rightful winner of this one. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 9-28. And the winner by unanimous decision, the Cooler. All right, so there he is, your winner by way of decision, and the celebration is on in the corners. They certainly prioritize the finish coming in, but they will certainly take the win and the accompanying win money as well. Going to be very interesting to see how the matchmakers proceed with this fighter after he gets this big win here tonight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.